morning. Hope you all are keeping fine. And I hope that you have watched my last video on chapter 9, where I did 9.1 and Sir Samuel did 9.2. So today, uh, in this video, we shall do chapter 10, data handling. But before that, uh, I would like to tell you, children, please keep watching these videos. Uh, the purpose of making these videos is to make you learn. When you know schools are not functioning, uh, classes are not where I and you too cannot attend the classes and therefore we are making these videos so that don't worry the learning should continue and you keep watching these videos and you will be able to do. So children, uh, today chapter 10, data handling. Now first of all let me tell you what is data handling. Uh, before giving you the definition, uh, I will just uh, give you an example. Like for example, uh, your mother wants to go to uh, the shop and she has asked you to go to the kitchen and make uh, to find out how many, what are the different types of vegetables that is in the kitchen. So what you do, you take a paper along with you, you go, you open the door of the refrigerator and or the vegetable basket and you find there five tomatoes. So you uh, write it down, five tomatoes. Then you see some potatoes there, around 15. Of course, these days, potatoes will be more in every family. Uh, so you note it down, the number of potatoes. Then you find some around 20 chilies. So you write down 20 chilies. So what you do is, you're collecting the data and then projecting on a paper and then giving it to your mother. And now your mother has got the full uh, information regarding what vegetable is there in the kitchen. So the information collected and putting it or writing it on a paper is called data handling. So here it is given. What is data handling? The process of collection of data and presentation of data is called data handling. So here two types of data are there. That is one is primary data. Now what is primary data? Primary data is uh, the data collected by the investigator itself. Like for example, your mother. I have given you the example of your mother. If your mother goes and collects the information by herself, so that is called primary data. But here what happened? Uh, you were asked to collect the data for your mother. So when a, another person collects the data, for the investigator, that is called secondary data. Okay, children, uh, today uh, let's do exercise 10.1. Now, 10.1, question number one. Question number one, I'm not writing down the question, but I will read out. Prepare a frequency table distribution for the height in centimeter of 20 people using telemark. Now, children, your answer part starts from here. What you have to do is, you have to note down all the data and tally it with the question whether any data are missing or not. It is about the height of the 20 people. If you miss out any data, then you won't get the correct answer. So you need to tally, even during the exam also from the question paper, you have to tally whether the data that you have written down in the answer sheet whether it is telling with the question or not. Now after that, you have to make a frequency table. Now frequency table is first column, height in centimeter. These are all heights of 20 people. So height in centimeter, then comes telly mark. Now what is telly mark? Is the observation that you make on different heights. So that is what telly mark is. And frequency, the number of people on that particular height. Now, before you start, first you have to find out the smallest number, smallest number or the shortest height. So children, I can see 118 is the shortest height. So you write 118 here. Now, find out how many 118s are there. In the first line, I see only one here. In the second line, no 118. So you can just strike it, 118, and write one here. So here it will be in the frequency 1. Then coming to the next number, after 118, 
I think it is 120. So 120 you write down. Now 120 you have got 1, 2, strike it 2. So first line we have only 2. Second line 3, 4, 4 and here 5. So here you see how you will write. You have got 1, 5, 120 in height. So 1, 2, 3, 4. After 4 you will have to strike from the top right to left down. So this is 5. So you write the frequency 5. Next coming to the next number I think we have 122. So 122. So 122 here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write 5 here. Then coming to the next number 125. 125. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. Now the last number left out is 130. So 130, here we have 1, then 2, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So children, if you look at the data on top, all the data are strike out. That means we have written down all the data in the frequency table. Now after that you will have to total it. If in your total you get 20 as the answer, that means the height of 20 people, then the answer is correct. So total, here you add it, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20. So we are getting the correct answer. So this is how uh, question number 1 you will have to do. Then question number 2 I am not doing. Why? Because question number 2 is same as question number 1. So you will have to try by yourself. Okay children, now going to question number 3. Question number 3, as I told you, from the question you will have to copy down the data carefully and tell it that you copy down each and every data without any mistake. Now the question is, uh, the number of gods read by the families. Now here 30 families are there, so 30 data should be there for 30 families. Now, Going to the frequency table, here first column will be number of bots, second will be tally marks, and the third will be frequency. Now, here the least number of got that we have is 1. Now 1, if you find out in this data lines, you will find 1, 2 families have got 1 got each, so 2. Coming to number of gods 2, that is 2 families, so coming to frequency 2. So like that, you will have to write 1 to 14. Data are 1 to 14, so that is number of gods. And then count how many tally marks or how many observations are there. I can not it down here. And then frequency table, in the frequency table you will have to write the total number of families rearing the number of gods is given here and when you total it the total should come 30 because here 30 families then this way you can prepare the frequency table coming to question number b question number b six families you see the question from the textbook question number c will be two families and question number d three families you see the question from the textbook and then you can note it down so for today uh, up to here 10.1 I have completed other questions you try to do it by yourself otherwise we will send you the PDF uh, file the answers you can copy it down so keep watching and be safe thank you